today's adventure takes us westward through Kentucky. I'm going to stop off at a roadside attraction, a very quirky place that I have not been to in quite some time. Welcome everyone, Adam uh, the Woo here. As you can see, there is snow on the ground. The weather is just a little brisk. What the? Apple Valley? Let's go check this out. Join me. Shall you? Normally I would take a seat at the rest area, but this time of year, probably not the best idea to do so. Quick glance by looking off in the woods, you can get a general idea what we're in store for. Stay sane, inside insanity. This gas pump guy saying hello. That sign over there states, sorry, we're open 10 a.m. to dusk. And if you show up and don't see anybody wandering around, come up to the house and they will give you a tour. That is the house. Now don't be shy. They welcome visitors here. Trust me, they do. So since last time I was here, you had a car wreck that came off the road and almost slammed into the western area. So the car landed right here? It actually ended up right where he's two deers. Two deers there. It ended up slowly in between there. That's where he ended up at. Facing our direction. You've added a spirit deer. It's a, it's, a, it's a ghost deer. Quite a few mannequins have been acquired since my last visit. Any, any major plans for the mannequins? Uh, not really. One will obviously come Bonnie and Clyde because there's that little myth that goes on here. Oh, that, so Bonnie there on the right and Clyde there on the left. Lots of chickens around. Yeah, oh, and there's some geese over there too. Uh, hey, you know, hey, well, those are actually ducks. Oh, those are ducks? Yeah. That's a good thing because me and geese don't get yeah, along. Because they're actually Muscogee ducks. Too. Muscogee ducks? Muscogee, that's what they call Muscogee ducks. Yeah, if they were geese, they would be attacking me. You saying hello? Hi there. He seems pretty friendly. Are you going down it again? I guess. I'm not as well. I still look like an ice. Oh, goodness. I didn't change my foot. Is this safe? Yeah. I'll find out. <laughs> Throne hinge. Or after a night of tacos, it could be a ring of fire. After a night of tacos? Oh, yeah. It could be your ring on fire. Oh. It's a heavily spaceship. We want to watch it. Hillbilly spaceship. Those things take a lot of tunnel power to get your booster ignited. Hillbilly spaceship? Yes. And it does take a lot. Yes. And it takes a lot of tunnel power to get your booster ignited. Pedal you, power. Maybe no, it's not working too well right now. We have a nice panty bed hatch on top. And that must be for the dark side of the moon. Is this yes. for ET? Yes, it is. To it's, phone home? Yeah, phone home. And it's the new push button telephone. Oh, push button. This is a shoe hive. They've taken over. There's no repellent for shoes out here? I don't seem to be. If anyone knows where I can get some, let me know. They're like they're like gremlins. If you get them wet or snow yeah. falls on them, they just multiply. multiply. And you might notice some are actually over you know, there taking a, a leap into the, uh, the swimming hole. Wow, there's a bunch there. One by one, they go a marching. Diving head first down into the swimming hole. I've heard a compost, but never a can post. This is where all the magic happens, all the behind the scenes, the workshop, all the little pieces of articles of things that you're gonna take apart, put together, and you have a fence line there. And why do you have the little fence built up around this well, section? Well, it's actually not considered a fence. It is the Hibbley Castle, and it is to block the view from the neighbors because they still have a problem with my art supplies. So the neighbors can't see past this. Yeah, yeah. Just to keep a little, little secrecy. Uh, they'll perform right here, and they use this as a backdrop, and then that's why you see mattresses right there. Because we do have uh, one angry neighbor, which is kind of like over there, so it's a block her view. So you have live bands, bands here about about three times a year, and they play here, and the mattresses that are there blocks the sound just a little bit, yeah. right? Yeah, and then and to keep the neighbor from being able to use the binoculars. Keep the neighbors from using the binoculars. binoculars. 
binocular proof yeah. mattresses. This is original, my grandparents' original chicken coop. It actually is their original chicken coop. Now, as I always say, I'm not sure how much the wood is original, but it is the original chicken coop. So before you lived here, your grandparents owned the property. Oh, no, owned the property, yeah. Uh, 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 up until about the 80s, my grandfather, he died in 64, so the, uh, as they call the tourist aspect of the operation closed down in 64, but, uh, but yes, they owned it, and this was his original chicken coop. As always said, I'm not sure how much the wood's original, but it is the original chicken coop. And now I've turned into a snake place or animal place. So you might notice we have the killer milkshake. Oh, the killer oh milkshake. milkshake. Is this a milk yeah. jug and it's a shake, not a snake. But this brings you in kind of similar to places along Route 66. In fact, if you look back at this, it is taken from two guns, which has the lions and the tiger still placed there out in the desert. Nice little homage. That looks like a space age moonshine still. Uh, exactly, that's exactly what it is. It is, so I yeah. guessed right? Yes, yes it that's, is. That's me when I was a kid, because when I was growing up, I was kind of came from kind of the same background you did. My parents were very conservative. They weren't a preacher, but they were very conservative. And they used to tell me, listen to much rock and roll, it would out my brain out, turn me into a zombie. So, so that's you? Yeah, that's so that gives some yeah, truth. How you heal? Well, how you feel? No. How you feel? That's you, how you feel. She, she thinks too much here lately. Now, once I heard about it, I had to go catch one. So, you know, I caught a baby one. That's Blair. a baby beast. A baby beast, but I forgot to feed it. So he's mummified on me now. But as you might notice, I still think he's pretty rare because as you go to all those Bigfoot places, they always show you the big one. I got the baby. You got the baby, baby beast. Baby. So I think, it's, I think it's more rare. Off over there, it states gator pit. You have, you have gators? Well, yes, we have. I don't, I don't know if you know but we have baby gators once again. Oh. And then you get your snappers, snapple. Gate, that's, these are Gatorade containers, right? Yeah. And then you get your snappers. Yeah, well, and then she's trying to tell you, you gotta watch out, they don't snap at you. Oh, go ahead. Those are, oh, snapper, snapples. Uh -huh. Oh, man. <laughs> this is the original three-way calling. So in the old days, we used to carry these around our back pocket. And when we traveled, they got to be a really pain in the arse. We had to give some in store to buy more cord because obviously the further away house you got, the longer cord. So had you to be. carried all three of these in well, your pocket. Well, you three -way calling. That was the only way to go yeah, three way, three -way calling. calling. It's then, much course, more convenient these days. Yeah, a lot more convenient. And then all, also, it it took us forever to text on one of these things. <laughs> it took us long to text. We had to talk on our phones. So. We got the scoop. We got the dirt. We got the trash on you. If not, we will dig up something about you. It's the news media. Yeah, so the early tabloid news system, actually. You get the scoop, then try to sell it to three of your organizations at the same time. We'll tumble for you. You'll tumble. Yes. You'll tumble for me. Yes. Because <laughs> it's, a, it's a dryer, and it, tum it has a tumble dry. Hey, I want you to kneel down over there. Over here? Yes. So behind this? Yes. Okay. You know, I got a screener when it comes in here. Oh, this is your screening system? Sure is. Okay. The devil tester. The devil tester? Yeah, it probably froze over now. Oh. Yeah, it froze over. Is that a mirror? Yeah. There's no way to guard against the devil here. Ow. Well, I guess against the devil today. Beelzebub wins. Normally, if you pass that test, you come over here to the hot party. So this opens, and then you just go down. Give or take. I mean, use your imagination. But yeah, yeah yes. And I do give an air conditioning unit to take with you. Oh, I could take that with yeah, me? So What's under you... there? Can I peek? Hey. Oh! That looks dangerous. Well, no, this is actually the original set of MASH, complete with boot camp. Wow. And radar is making a special appearance. Oh, right. That's a stretch. That's a, you worked hard on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I, I, I keep pushing this stuff. So, Elvis has left the building. That's the king? Yes. And, and he's, he's a bit shook up. up and falling to pieces. But I'm certainly not in Kansas anymore, judging by those ruby slippers. And this is your open can, because they're can canvas. Canvas, open canvas. Did I do that right? Oh, well, more or less. Or, well, yes, you did. It's open canvas. And then, of course, you are at Apple Valley Canyon. No. Happy Apple Valley Canyon. Where did he go? Then you got the king is, uh, you, got no, excuse me, you got the return king of, of the king of pop back here. Yeah, return it. of the king of pop. The king of pop, you know, pop, soda, can. You might wonder why there's a dentist chair on that tree 
because this is the root canal here on this church pew. This is the church of holy rollers. Get it? Holy rollers. All of these souls are heading directly upward because they've seen the light. That's a light. What is this massive amount of rickety, unstable tires with a chair up on it? What is that? It's a fully functioning hillbilly deer stand. And it's so great, we even have a heater underneath your chair so your rump doesn't go cold while you wait for the deer to go by. That, that would take some gumption to climb that and sit up there with a, a rifle trying to get, trying to shoot a deer. That's been done before. Now see, this tree looks pretty normal, but this tree looks pretty wacky. Keep an eye out for this guy. He's wanted, and another little homage to roadside attractions, Rock City painted right there on that grill. I didn't even notice down on the ground is a pet there. You can pet the pooch. He's got a little snow on him though, however. Whoa, watch out, Keith. There's sinkholes there. Watch out for those sinkholes. It's a close one. No kidding, we're gonna fall one of those things. Now this doesn't look too illegal, but this, you have a pot farm here? Sure did. All right. And a house on the tree to the undercover cop. An undercover cop? Oh. I'll keep this my secret. I won't tell a soul. I gotta say, I like most of this stuff, except for this piece of art. It really sucks when it's a little warmer. Water is operational all through this section. However, this appears to be budding nonetheless. If you've heard of Cadillac Ranch, then this little section might not need an introduction. What's this called? The Leaning Tire of Pisa. Tire of Pisa? Yes. And then if you wonder why the pinkish stuff's there, it's supposed to be red, and it would be your tomato sauce. So technically, it's the Leaning Tire of Pizza. The Leaning Tire of Pizza. You can't beat a dead horse, but you can sew a split horse. Oh, a split horse. Let's see what you did there. Is that how you let off energy? Yes. How long can you stay on that thing? What's what's the record? Time wise. Probably ten minutes. Ten minutes? Whoa! You're going too fast! You can't keep up! One thing I always like is a huge amount of clowns. The county was trying to tell me it was an abandoned mobile home, so I had these clowns on it. So, so it's no longer abandoned? No. Now it's a place where scary clowns hang out it's, at. It's now a billboard. Yeah. A terrifying billboard. Take that, county. It's almost one of the kind of ones you see in front of a grocery store. Well, actually, it's, I think it was more for the, the ones that were on the chains on both sides where they spin around. Oh, like in a park? Uh, at a beautiful park, yeah. So you'd have the chain kind of mounted here? I, I guess. Or up here? Some, maybe up here? Around. And then there would be seats in here. Yeah, so I told this was a mold. Remember the days when we could fit in something of that size? Well, I can still fit in. Okay. It's just kind of hard for it. Oh, to you've done this before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now wait for the next guest to show up and then hop out and startle them. Yeehaw! Good to see a lot of vehicles have showed up to the drive-in. The king is born. Because it's Elvis. King of rock and roll in a manger scene. <laughs> Just to show how cold it is, the icicles here. Brr. I didn't even notice at first, but that ghost from Pac-Man along the side of the house. It's made up of cassette tapes. VHS to be exact. Be kind. Rewind. You should check this out. What's in here? Oh my goodness. I forgot about this. The Legion of Toys. They don't call this place a toy museum for nothing. And this is just a tip 
of the ice. Ooh, monkey shines. Tip of the iceberg as I turn the corner. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Holy cow, and over here, there's stuff everywhere. A banjo playing doll, a Rambo, lunchbox, Scooby-Doo, characters, all kind of stuff in here. Thousands and thousands of dolls, toys, knickknacks. The Osbournes? I think it is. I could spend quite a bit of time in here and still not see everything. Wow. Uh, there's close to 3,500 in here. Uh, this is only 20% of what accumulated back in LA. The other 80% is an abandoned mobile home next to us with the scary clowns standing on it. E.T. up there making a quick getaway, which is good because Godzilla and King Kong is down there and the new school Godzilla in there as well, tucked away back there. John Goodman and the baby from Dinosaurs. Five Nights at Freddy's, I believe that is. Don't hassle the Hoff. I'm wondering, how do you get to some of these areas? How do you get up there? There's a secret passage that goes literally under the table all the way around. So you climb under here, uh, under crawl here. under tunnel. here. Yeah, there's a tunnel under there. It takes you all the way around. And as you can see, I can't get any wider than this tunnel. So you just slither through, through there, there. And climb all the way through there. And then that takes you back around all the way to that, to this that, yeah. way. So, yeah. so you'd be underneath here. And then you would somehow pop up back in there. Yeah, you'll notice that's all a hole mountain where you can climb. And then you'd through. pop out of this. Yeah. As you can say, I use everything for storage. So. You're going in. He's going in. Then I can pop up right here. Oh, there you are. And then I can work on any of the trains I need to up here. And if I stand on a, on a block, I can raise all my way up there. Out of everything in here, what's your favorite toy if you had to take one with you? What would it be? Okay, that is hard to say, but in my case, I'm old, so it would probably be the Alamo playset up, up there. The because Alamo playset. That has been signed by Fess Parker and Buddy Epson, the two main actors in the David Crockett trilogy. They, they both signed that. They both signed the 10 for me, because if you look at the 10. That is awesome. The, the, the chapel building, you'll see. Right underneath Mars Attack is where they signed Fess, it. Fess Parker and then Buddy Epson signed it down right where the wall goes into the chapel. That's awesome. Got Steve Urkel with his head on the shoulder of Martin Short. We got one of the Duck Dynasty characters palling up with Freddy Krueger. I really like all these old school metal lunch boxes. It's a Magic Kingdom one there. You didn't tell me there were gonna be trolls in here. You didn't warn me. They're they're everywhere, man. They're everywhere. Can't stay away from them. No, you dang, can't. Them dang trolls. Yeah, we even got them here in Toyland. This is actually my uh, Lego truck from. My childhood in the and when you were a kid. Yeah, when I was a kid, probably in the mid 60s. And the, the thing you were most excited about. It could do this. It could just spin around. You From the 1960s, now Legos can do pretty much anything. Anything, yeah. But back then, this was amazing. And then somehow I saw my original box. That is so cool. Look at that. That's a serious antique right there. The Lego delivery truck. It's, 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 uh, it's rigged up. I don't know if it's going to work right now or not, but it's. Yeah, it's froze. But it, the rope, so someone goes in to use the toilet in Hillbilly Heaven, and then you pull a prank by dumping water? Yeah. Have your kids ever pulled a prank on you by dumping water on your head? I can't remember. You don't remember? How do you forget something like that? A little squirrel named Mr. Nuts. How you doing, Mr. Nuts? Staying warm? It's cold out there. It's supposed to be kind of like a fun place. I've taken a lot of bad that's happened to me and tried to turn it into a whimsical happening because this whole place is based upon uh, me wanting to build a toy land. The county wanted a subdivision to go in here, so then it kind of migrated. So I'm just trying to turn everything into enjoyment. So I want people to leave happy, uh, remember their childhood, get a little history. Uh, I kind of hate that a lot of uh, the younger folks do not seem to care about the history. So I don't know. I just want to make a love of history, a love of of the past, uh, just that we're all supposed to have a good time and enjoy life. So and you're open pretty much every day. Oh, we're open every day. We are open every day from, from uh, 
from uh, 8 a.m. To, uh, to dusk. So yes, and, and every day. If they don't see you outside, just, just come knock, knock on the door. door. Just yeah, knock just on the door. door and we'll and you take action. donations. We'll and take donations. And we do have a hand, we do have a can in the hand, so she got there and. And yes, yeah, so that's how we basically operate. I want where, where are you technically located? What's the name of this town? Okay, it is actually Calvert City. Now, I always do say I have not found the part of Cal I have not found the city part of Calvert yet, but it is called Calvert City, and it's it's uh, just outside of Paducah, Kentucky, and and we're down 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 from that happening place called Possum Trot. We're right down the road from Possum Trot. So. Possum Trot, Kentucky. Yeah. That's gonna do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe. Helps keep you in the loop and up to date on the future. Uploads. That's good. I hope you had a plenty good time and I forgot what your catchphrase is. <laughs> Go home and sleep well. This one in the bag. Vlog over.